On January 23rd, 2016, which was yesterday, prior to uh, recording this video, I found an algorithm that um, flips a single edge or a edge on the 4x4 or in general um, switches two pieces in any given number of orbits in the same composite edge on the n by n by n cube. Yesterday I found one that was the same number of block half turns and block quarter turns as the holy grail algorithm that I found more than six years ago. This algorithm is also briefer than the Holy Grail algorithm in a few other move metrics such as the plain quarter turn metric and plain half turn metric and also single slice turns. But um, the main one though is the plain quarter turn metric. Never before in history has there been a single edge flip algorithm that is 22 of those type of moves in that move metric. So anyway, I made a post on speed solving, and this afternoon I emailed Ben and let him know of the post I made on speed solving, and he congratulated me and then asked me if the derivation for this algorithm is roughly the same as the Holy Grail or is it different, and it actually is different. It's actually much quicker and it's more direct, I, I should say. Alright, so let's begin. So basically what I do is I conjugate the quarter turn let me just use sign notation okay so what I do is I just conjugate the quarter turn that's all I did I even just wrote out the moves I didn't even work it out on the cube first I wrote R and then U prime and then 2R and then U and then R prime for example I did something like that so basically here's the quarter turn and I'm conjugating with a Y turn U because this is in sign notation and then out, uh, outer face turn R and this is the key thing is are, are these R's here so when we execute this we see this result here now this move right here is R prime so if I have an inner slice R prime which will be 2 R prime in sign then I can merge that with this and so basically what I did was I, I looked at the cube and I said oh well I, you know R prime moves the slice that way so if I do R prime, I can bring this one by two by two block into where it needs to be, and it's just like a version of the Nick loss. And then this one by two by two block will come back where it needs to be once this one by two by two block goes there. So let's just go ahead and execute that commutator. Just to slice, then move this double turn, and then then move this back. So now all we do we have the first two pieces of the commutator let's just finish it out we have 2r then d then l2 then d prime and then that will give us a two cycle of wing edges and a two two cycle of x centers so now that we have this formation all we have to do is just shift this one move back so it wasn't really that much of a conjugation of what we needed to do okay so now I have this formation I see that I have an L2 here so it's ideal that the setup move I do will be like an inner slice L or outer face L and it turns out that if you do you you have two choices with either one if you do the correct choice for either one of them you can actually simplify the algorithm to get the same result Similarly here with the conjugate of the quarter turn, if you use like a different face like maybe F, um, you will actually with wide turn equivalences get the same exact results. So there, there are not any other types of um, parity algorithms you can get from this type of idea besides maybe perhaps using another commutator than the one I used. But as far as the conjugate of the quarter turn is directly, the results will be the same. Okay, so let's try to conjugate let me move this because I want these to be diagonally diagonal to each other so it's just one setup move between them so I just do let's see well in this case it's L and then I invert with L prime so once I have that I have a clean path between these two wing edges so okay wait a minute wait 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 before I bring them together look at this this centerpiece right here if I bring this wing edge here this centerpiece is going to come with it and match with that one. 
So all I have to do is just do that inner slice to bring that wing edge and that center there. And look, the centers match. So all I have to do is one more setup move. I can just, um, I can move this one by two block here. So I basically just do U prime and then U. And then I can actually merge these together, right? I can merge these together as U and this one as U prime. I get this result. So all I have to do, because as we can see, these are perfectly t untouched, I just bring them down here. So it actually is just too good to be true, it seems like. And I can use a wide turn instead of an inner slice turn to get a complete algorithm. Now this algorithm, let's see here, this 2R prime and this 2 uh, and this R prime can merge as just lowercase r prime to give us a 22 plain quarter turn algorithm and only a 20 full turn move algorithm. This is actually one above optimal, the C molar parity that I found um, about six years ago as well. That one was, I found that actually after the Holy Grail, so it was a little bit after that, a little bit less than six years ago. That one's 19, that's the only algorithm. It and its cousin, I call it, are the only ones that are 19 that exist currently. So this is very, very low in that metric, but extremely low in this one. It's lower than any other algorithm in history. But it's still 19 block quarter turns and um, 18 block half turns. So now what I'm gonna do is unmerge these two moves here because I want to apply it in general and so we're gonna have problems if we don't write it out as I created it at the beginning. So I'm writing this on one line. So all I have to do to convert this to the 5x5 five five is just, just um, like with the Holy Grail algorithm, just make these double layer turns of L to triple layer turns of L. And you can see that it works on the 5x5. Five five. So now that I have that, how about the 6x6? Six six? Well this one, unlike the Holy Grail, you don't need an interior setup move. This one's very, very straightforward. Let me go to the 6x6. Six six. Well, we're almost there already. I mean, it's just, just two centerpieces off. What I have to do is just convert these to um, triple layer turns, and I'm done. So they have all triple, so it's just like a proportion by portion, four by four translation to the six by six, and I'm finished. There is no interior setup move required. And um, that's for the outer orbit. So for this case, it's not 24 um, face quarter turns, it's actually 22 because again, these can be merged. In this case, it'll be two lowercase r prime and you can see it's 22, but I'm gonna undo that now. And so let's say I wanna convert it to the inner orbit. All I have to do is just change the coefficients of these three inner layer slice r's and then I'm finished. Goes right to it. Well, for the seven by seven, all we have to do is convert these triple layer turns to four layer turns of L, and then it's on the seven by seven. So that's the algorithm and that's the translation to the n by n and the derivation for it as well. Now, a thing to note about this algorithm that's different than every other 19 quarter turn algorithm I've ever found before is that the center pieces that it affects, they're just in one face. So let me get rid of these triple layer turns from the 5x5 five five translation. Yeah, they're just all right there, which is really neat. Another thing to notice is that if I just invert all of these moves without moving them, you know, just apply a prime symbol to them. So prime it cancels a prime, and the prime on nothing, the prime stays. Look what happens. What do you think happens? We get the same exact result on the super cube and even on the regular cube. Now there you know there's an algorithm um, waffles single edge flip pure version algorithm that you can invert you can literally invert all of the L and R moves and the M move and you will still get an algorithm that flips an edge but it flips on the opposite side. No single edge flip algorithm to date has this property that I know of. Which is very interesting. I actually derived this one separately from that one. I just started from scratch again and I 
Start with the conjugate of the quarter turn with the outer face quarter turns on that conjugate. So instead of I instead of starting with like r, I started with r prime, and I inverted the um, the u moves or something around that so it would work out and I could still reuse it, but I derived this separately and that's how I found it. So in, in other words, this right here is equal to the inverse of the first algorithm's reverse. And so for that reason, I call this algorithm, I named this algorithm Reverter, and I called the first algorithm because it challenges the Holy Grail's um, optimality, so to speak, the challenger. I don't really name algorithms that often, but um, I thought I would name these, especially that they tie in the, in the move metric that I care most about, which is block quarter turn metric. And so lastly, I guess what we can do is try to make an optimized version of this for speed. It really isn't a speed solving algorithm, but it's sure a heck of a lot faster than the Holy Grail could be, I would think. So let's see here. Let's say I have um, D with Y prime. If I put a Y prime there, then this becomes U. You can put that after. So that's that's fine. And then well this is if this is just for the four by four, these two merge as one. Um let's see here. If I make this R2, then I can make that U, because I'm just introducing an X2 cube rotation by Y Y turn equivalences. So I can just have this move convert to U as well and this one to get rid of that X2 cube rotation and then we get a, a faster algorithm that we can execute in uh, I guess a decent amount of time not for speed solving but it's not it's not um, it doesn't scramble the cube as much as the holy grail algorithm either if you take a look at it let me just pull, pull it up on the regular 4x4 if we go through it it really doesn't scramble it as much as the holy grail algorithm so I don't know this one is very interesting I can say I do like reverter and challenger but um, they really don't scramble the cube like the holy grail algorithm does it's but they're as brief and actually briefer in three other move metrics than the holy grail which is quite interesting but that's really all i have to say about this algorithm and its um, inverse of its reverse challenger